was wondering if the company who did Full Metal Panic, when the heck are we going to see season five? We've been waiting for this for four freaking years. Or wait a minute, it has to be three. Mm. Three, four, I don't care. Come on, people. Stop being so darn lazy and give us a frickin' season 5 for goodness sakes. I want to see what happens next. After all, we are leaving in the cliffhanger. Something I cannot spoil. Well, I'll have to go ahead and start the season 4 anime review of Full Metal Panic. The Invisible Victory. Well, anyway, hi ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop Matey 7. This is my review for a day. And today, I do have an anime review, ladies and dudes. And I'm sorry I kept this anime review for, for a couple of months now. And I know that everybody has been waiting for me to do this a very important anime review that came from one of the most popular anime series of all time and also one of the best anime s series that gave us nostalgia moments. So for my next anime review is Full Metal Panic! The Invisible Victory. And yes, I did watch this series from start to finish. And the saddest part is it's only in 12 frickin' episodes. Why number 12? I wish they could go back to 24. Since it started from the very first Full Metal Panic series, you know where it all began for this popular series. And yes, 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 ladies and dudes, I will say in a spoiler alert, it did leave it in a cliffhanger. I will say the ending's kind of decent, but I want to see more. I want to see what happens next in the Full Metal Panic story. Okay, okay, I know what you're saying, ladies and dudes. Can we please get on with the anime review? Okay, let's go ahead and do it anyway. So anyway, for my next anime review is Full Metal Panic! The Invisible Victory Season 4. So let's get this whole anime review started, shall we? Okay, what, what the heck I should say about the main plot of the story? It took place after the events of Full Metal Panic, The Second Rate. It's a story about a guy named so Sosuke Sagura? Or, I th yeah, let's go with Sosuke. It'll be easier. Okay, it's a story about a soldier dude named Sosuke. He's been a soldier for all of his life. He has to do his duties here and there. And he has to be a high school student so he could protect this young girl named Miss Tittery, who is known as some type of whisperer person. A person who has whispering powers or whatever. And he has to keep an eye on her while there's so many dangerous stuff going on in so many areas here and there. And yeah, one day Miss Chittery got kidnapped by, um, uh, Tessa's older brother. He just kidnapped her for some unknown reason. And it's up to Sosuke to go out there and save her. And, and yeah, his journey has to continue on from there. You know, out of Japan and go somewhere else. That's all I could say about the main plot of the story, and yeah, that's all I could say about the main plot of the story of Full Metal Panic, The Visible Victory. And I guess everybody wants to know is, what the heck do I think about this 
12 episode anime series of Full Metal Panic The Invisible Victory. Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I will say it's a pretty darn good anime series to watch. Well, for season 4, of course. But overall, it's a it's a very enjoyable one to watch. And yes, it is true, back at 2018, I did check out the very first episode. Back at the springtime. I forgot. I think it was like, I think May or April. I can't remember which one. But it's been a while. And if I remember right in 2019, I, or is it 2018? I can't remember which year it was. I did finish up the, uh, the rest of the episodes so I could see the whole darn thing. Yep, it's a very enjoyable anime series to watch. And I love all the storyline parts for all 12 episodes. It's pretty darn well done and pretty darn simple. What else I could say? It is a very enjoyable chapter to watch. I will say it had a good storyline and the characters were pretty darn enjoyable from both old and new alike. I'm very happy that they brought back the English dub who did who was responsible of being a part of ADV Film Company. Um, the animation is good. It had a really good score. It has a good opening and closing theme. Well, from an artist we never heard of. And yeah, it did bring back a couple of nostalgia moments here and there. So anyway, ladies and dudes, let's head on to the strongest points and the weakest points of Full Metal Panic, The Invisible Victory. I will say for the strongest points for this anime series is truly the storyline. I freaking love the storyline from start to finish. I mean, I was blown away from all 12 episodes and getting to know what the heck's going on with uh, Sosuke and this Chidori's adventures. And yes, yes, it is true that poor Miss, Tr Miss Tittery only has a very, very sw small role in the story. But at least she was there, th that's for sure. And I really did enjoy the new characters from both good guys and bad guys alike. I mean, they're very, very enjoyable to watch. I will say the best enjoyable new characters I really did enjoy is, uh... The girl who's a builder and this dude named Lemon. And I really like that hench dude for the bad guys. You know, the guy with the dark sunglasses and the black coat. And I think he's eating carrots, if memory serves me right. So yeah, I enjoyed the storyline from start to finish, so... All I can say about the strongest points for this anime series is truly the storyline. And yes, ladies and dudes, I'll go ahead and tell you about an interesting fun fact that all of you need to know about Full Metal Panic. Well, I'll tell you the truth is, Full Metal Panic, both the first and the second one, the original and Fumofu, it belongs to the anime company of ADV Films. And they did license those two anime series back at the 2000 area. And we all, we're all familiar about our beloved voice actors, actors and actresses who, who belong to ABV films. Like Lucy Christian and, and Vic Mignogna and uh, Chris Hatton, that's so darn hard, and Monica Rehal and some others. And yes, when Second Ray is about to come out, um, Funimation decide, decides to license that anime series. And I know all the fans were kind of wondering uh, how the heck this is going to work. Since Funimation licensed that anime series, how the heck we're going to see our voice actors and actresses again who could play our characters. Well, the good news is since um, he... They just did it for the fans. They did pay attention to what the fans truly want, is listening to the original ADV film company, who is responsible for, you know, getting 
the dove of full male panic to life. So, Jade just decided to keep the all the members of the ADB films, you know, to come back and reprise their roles for the other Full Metal Panic anime series. And they did the same thing again for The Invisible Victory. And it's a very delightful treat to hear all the voice actors and actresses who did play our dear beloved characters for the past uh, something years ago. Hard for me to say. Oh yeah, I will say another good strongest point for this anime series is our dear beloved English dub, who is a part of ADV Films, and also being a part of the Funimation family. And they still nail their roles, even to this day. Oh yeah, the saddest part is we have- there was one voice actor who, who is no longer here with us. The uh, actor who played that old dude who was working with the good guys. Uh, well, I can't remember the actor's name, but it's a sad shame that we lost him uh, many, many years ago. Yep, it was really sad. Um, I wish I could remember the actor's name who played that dude who, who has white hair and he's... Surprisingly, he's in his 40s and not in his 50s. Weird thing to say. And yeah, there's going to be a plot twist about that guy. Something I will not spoil. So yeah. The only... I will say for the strongest points for this anime series is truly the storyline and our beloved English dub that came from ADV Films, but now they're a part of the Funimation family. And now let's go on to the weakest points of, um, Full Metal Panic, The Invisible Victory. All I can say is there's a couple of animation uh, parts that are kind of off and we leave it in the cliffhanger. Um, there's some stuff from two episodes here and there that are kind of off. In episode two, there was a car chasing that features CGI. Uh, that CGI looks kind of horrible. Doesn't fit the scene very well. I wish they'd left it in 2D hand-drawn animation. And let's see... What is it? Episode 10 or 11. I can't remember which episode it was. But there was a part where Miss Cherry is going to the pool and try to relax herself. And the animation looks kind of... Off. Or... The design was pretty darn wrong. That's all I could say about that part. And the other weakest point is they left it in the clip here because we were about to get on to a happy note, but no, we're in a very bittersweet note. Um, I will say the ending was kind of decent, but I wish they should get going on the main ending part of the story. Well, when you get to Go to episode 12, you know what I'm talking about. And that's the only weakest points I can find for this anime series. So, let's go on to the characters. I will go with one character I will stay with, and that is Sosuke. Played by Chris Patton, or Chris Payton, uh, well, whatever his last name is. I freaking love Sosuke. He is a very fun, enjoyable character. And he's one of the most matured anime characters I have ever seen in anime history. I mean, he's a very, very well-matured character. I really love his storyline. I love his personality. I love his attitude. He's taking his job very, very seriously as a soldier. And I do like the part of the later on storyline that he has to go to a new place find a new job, and um, try to earn some money as he can so he could keep his journey going to find Miss Chittery. And yeah, his, um, his robot is kind of cool. Uh, the robot named Al. I like Al. He, he has a really cool character design as a robot. Yeah. Um, 
I will say Sosuke is a very enjoyable character overall. And now my final thoughts, a Full Metal Pack, The Visible Victory. Overall, Full Metal Pack, The Invisible Vis- Full Metal Panic, The Invisible Victory deserves to be one of the best anime chapters of Full Metal Panic that I did enjoy so far. I will say it had a good storyline for some parts, well for the most part. I will say the characters were pretty darn likable for both old and new alike. The animation is good, it has a good score, and I really love the English dub from the Funimation cast and the ADD film cast. And it's one of the best nostalgia anime series that I will enjoy so far. So for my rating for this anime series, I gave it a 9.3 out of 10. It sucks that we left it in the cliffhanger, and I hope and pray they can give us a season 5 very soon. And that's my whole entire anime review of Full Metal Pack The Invisible Victory. I hope you enjoy this anime review that I did so far. And join me next time. Coming really soon, I gotta do... You know, um... Full... No, no. I gotta do Fruits Basket Season 3, and that's coming really soon in the main future. Whenever I can get there. So, that is it for now. I'll see you guys later, Red Sayonara.